Hello and welcome to Hotel Travel Channel. My name is Sarah, here to bring you the top 10 mistakes that travelers make booking hotel stays using travel sites like Expedia.com and booking including the number one mistake that could cost you thousands of dollars. I bring you all of this knowledge from my experience as an independent hotel manager. Let's get started. It's important to note that Expedia and Booking.com own all of the other travel sites that you've used like Hotels.com, Kayak, and Trivago. I actually have a video all about travel sites. I'm going to leave down in the description if you want some more information as well. So we are going to count down starting with number 10 mistake that travelers make using travel sites. And that one is not putting in the right number of people when you go to book a hotel using travel sites. What do I mean by this? If you go to book a hotel, a lot of times I've noticed people put in the number of adults that are staying in the room and they might not include the number of children. Well, this results in you coming to the hotel and getting the wrong room. You could get a studio or something that's not going to accommodate all of you. The fact is that every person, even if they're an infant or a child, they still counted as an occupant and the hotel needs to know that so that they can really give you the best room for your party. Number nine is not taking a few minutes to read the reviews on the travel sites before you book a hotel. So travel sites actually give you a lot of really, really good reviews. And um, if you want to learn more about how to find the right reviews for your hotel, I do have a free workshop that is going to have a video all about this. It's a mini workshop that's going to launch soon. You can sign up for that down below. The eighth mistake that travelers make when using travel sites to book a hotel is not remembering the room that they booked or maybe even the property that they booked. I call this brain haze because after you spend hours researching a hotel and looking at a bunch of different hotel rooms and properties and you finally book and it ends up maybe not even being what you remember booking. So please write it down, print out what you got. It'll save you a lot of trouble. Mistake number seven is picking the cheapest room on a property. A lot of times people may want to pick a hotel on a budget and so they want to stay in a room that's the cheapest because maybe they're not going to spend very much time in the room. But in some cases, this can be a mistake. I can't tell you from my experience how many people have checked in not even remembering what room they booked and then also having picked the cheapest room and being really disappointed. So if you're going to spend very much time in your room, you might want to pay just a little bit extra to really enjoy the comforts of it. And if you're not, then you have to remember that how much money you put into something is what you're going to get out of it. So if you pick a cheap room, you're probably going to get a cheap result. If you ever book hotels or you like to travel, consider subscribing to this channel. I do come out with one new video every Thursday designed to help you save time and money when you're booking hotels. Mistake number six is not telling the hotel that you are bringing a pet slash service animal slash emotional support animal slash therapy animal. While travel sites do list hotels as pet friendly, the thing that they do not list is any of the hotel policies regarding pets or service animals and the like. Now, it is kind of funny, but that's true that uh, travel sites kind of cover up how much the fee is and every hotel has different pet policies. So you want to contact the hotel or at least read their policies when you're bringing a pet and just call and let them know or put it in the comments when you go ahead and book. Mistake number five is near and dear to my heart and that one is if you check the prices on a travel site, you should also check the prices at the hotel's website. A lot of times if you book directly, you're going to save a lot of money booking right through the hotel's website and it's also a lot easier to change your reservations later. Mistake number four is that you can be completely oblivious to a lot of hotel fees. Some of them are hidden until the very end when you go ahead and reserve your stay. Some of them are not even made aware to you and then later you get charged for them. I actually have an entire video all about the hidden hotel fees that especially travel sites will hide from you, but maybe even the hotel's website. So I have that down in the description if you want more information about that. If you like this video today, please hit the like button and I'd love it if you comment down below some of the biggest struggles that you have when you're booking hotels because I want to answer your questions. So if you have questions or struggles, leave them down below so that I know what kind of information you want to hear next. 
Mistake number three is believing all of the photos that you see on travel sites for a hotel. Some of these are pointing at special angles and make, maybe even done by a professional photographer and they can really pick and choose what they show the guests and a lot of people are already know this, you're really skeptical about photos. A lot of people like to go and actually look at the room before they book, but you don't always have that option. So you just want to be a bit of a detective when it comes to looking at hotel photos. And that's another topic that I'm going to touch on in the free workshop that's coming out soon. All right, that brings us to mistake number two that travelers do when using uh, travel sites. And that is that a lot of people believe that booking.com or Expedia is in charge of the hotel's listing. When in reality, it's up to the hotel to go on and sign up with these travel sites. And then they set up their own listing. They provide the photos, they provide all of the room descriptions and the amenities that come with the room and with the property. So it's really up to the hotel instead of booking.com or Expedia. And if you have pictures or things that you think are misrepresentations, that is the hotel's fault. Let's finally move on to the number one mistake that could be costing you thousands of dollars. And that is that you did not check the cancellation policy prior to booking. And that is kind of funny because on a travel site, the hotel only has so many options that they can pick for their cancellation policy when they list on travel sites. So their actual cancellation policy may be totally different. It might be more strict than what they are allowed to put on their listing. So you always want to go directly to the hotel's website. They'll have their policies listed, or you can call them and ask them what their cancellation policy is before you book or if you've already booked, go check now so that you don't accidentally cancel and lose half of your room's refund or all of the refund and potentially thousands of dollars. I hope that this video was really helpful today to you. I will see you guys again next Thursday with another informational video. Have a wonderful day and God bless. Cue bloopers. Oh, I totally forgot about this tip. Nah, no, that's okay. <coughs> I'm going to die. Subscribe, baby. Subscribe. Ooh. <coughs> Hope I don't sound sick. I think I sound a little sick. How do you film a video when you're sick? <laughs>